there is an interesting candidate who's doing all right. Surprise, David. Uh, there are a few people on Wall Street who actually like Elizabeth Warren, despite all of her attacks on their industry. Yeah, which uh, attacks puts it mildly, actually. But, but why is it? Why, and as you talk to people on Wall Street, why are they saying, yeah, we're attracted to Elizabeth Warren? The word smart comes up quite a lot. Obviously, she was a professor at Harvard Law. Um, and despite the fact that she's got a lot of policy proposals that might, you know, sort of uh, be in, against their interests, for instance, uh, you know, attacking the rich and powerful, it seems like people are giving her a chance, which I was very surprised by when I first started reporting this story. But I didn't find it that hard to actually find these people on Wall Street in very senior positions uh, sort of being reasonably uh, okay with her. Well, I'm also intrigued by the, the, the issue that she would go to Wall Street and ask for money because she she has been not very shy about saying what she thinks is wrong with the country, and a lot of it is on Wall Street. She's actually not asking for it, but people might give it to her anyway. So we actually uh, talked to uh, a couple of people on the street who said, look, we haven't given her money yet, but if she rises to prominence, if she has a shot at winning against Trump, they would consider it. Well, and there's the point, isn't it, really? Because Wall Street loves a winner. They like to back a winner, whether they agree with them or not. And sometimes they don't back the right person, and then they switch sides and give money to the next person that they think might win. <laughs> well, and let's be frank. I mean, even if they back her, often candidates run on certain things that never get done. I mean, people say a lot of brave things, but Washington has a tendency to slow things down. Exactly. And a couple of the contacts that we spoke to did say that while Elizabeth Warren has this very aggressive um, sort of left-wing platform that is seen as anti-bank, anti-Wall Street, they expect that if she does get the nomination, she will pull more towards the center. Yeah. It's been known to happen in the past. It's a terrific piece, and it's getting a lot of readership right now on Bloomberg. So congratulations, Lynette. Thank you.